Entertech Global presents Geothermal University Online Training and Educational Resources. Hello and welcome to Geothermal University. I'm John Pendleton. In the day-to-day -day tasks of an HVAC service technician, there are certain tasks that are skipped or overlooked due to time constraints. Unfortunately, some extra steps are simply not deemed important. One of the most important tasks is the use of a nitrogen purge while brazing. On initial startup or when making repairs, a nitrogen purge is required to avoid subsequent component failure. This is an important step in building a reliable HVAC system. Why should we purge with nitrogen? Oxygen in the air combines with copper to form surface copper oxide. We see this on copper tubing as a light to dark brown discoloration. At high brazing temperatures, a heavy black oxide forms, called cupric oxide. After cooling, the oxide forms scale and flakes off over time. While mostly cosmetic on the tube exterior, inside the tube, the oxide flakes are carried by the refrigerant through the system. This contaminant can restrict flow through small orifices such as metering devices, reversing valves, TXVs, flow controls, or pilot valves. Important, if brazing is performed on a line set or system component and nitrogen is not used, component failures will result in a short period of time. This problem has long been an issue in brazing HVAC tubing. It has become more important with the change from HCFC refrigerants like R22 that use mineral oil to the new HFC refrigerants such as 410 using POE oil. Due to their polar nature, POE oils have a solvent effect and can scrub the copper tube walls. Oxide from tube walls and loose scale can circulate through the system. To prevent oxidation, flow dry nitrogen through the tube during brazing. Nitrogen is inert, non-reactive, and displaces the oxygen to prevent scale formation. Nitrogen is typically introduced into the system through the Schrader valve after removing the core or other system opening. Connect a hose or tube from the nitrogen cylinder to tubing or refrigerant port. The cylinder will be equipped with a regulator or flow control valve. There is no universal requirement for the delivery pressure setting, but the goal is to use low volume, low pressure to displace the oxygen. A suggested starting point is one and a half to two PSI. We recommend setting pressure until you feel a slight flow at the exit point on the back of your hand. Important, initiate flow before heating and continue to flow nitrogen until the part has cooled. Avoid an excessive flow rate that builds pressure inside the tube. A high flow rate will tend to cool the tube, reducing brazing heat efficiency. Excess nitrogen pressure can build up inside the tube and reduce braze alloy penetration. The bigger the tubing, the more scaling would form. The purpose of the nitrogen is to displace any oxygen in the lines and minimize the formation of oxides. As the AC unit is put into service, these oxide flakes dislodge and can become trapped in the TXV, reversing valve, or metering orifice, leading to premature compressor failure. Manufacturers may not honor a component warranty if the failure is a result of improper brazing procedures. In our first demonstration, we brazed an inch and a quarter suction line without using nitrogen. You noticed after the joint cooled, when we tapped the tubing, some of the internal scale broke loose. The inside revealed excessive scaling. In our second example, we are brazing while using a nitrogen purge. When the joint is cooled, we'll cross-cut the second example to reveal the inside of the tubing and compare. 
This time, you'll notice no scaling formed inside the tubing. When we cross-cut the joint, you'll see the copper tubing looks brand new on the inside. When we place the two cutaways together, the difference is very obvious. All manufacturers use nitrogen. If nitrogen is not used, it's not a matter of if the scale will break loose and cause a component failure, but a matter of when. Thank you for watching Geothermal University. For more information on GeoComfort, Hydron Module, and Tetco Geothermal Systems, call 618-664-9010 or visit www.entertechgeo.com. For additional training resources, go to geothermaluniversity.com.